All right, here I am at it again. This distribution is on the number four slot on Distro Watch. Now I'm speaking of Magia. Now Magia is a fork of Mandriva, or Mandriva, or whatever you want to pronounce it. Hey, I remember when they were called Mandrake. That was a long time ago. But at any rate, we're going to look at Magia right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. It's not very often when um, I look at a distribution and think to myself, geez, you know, this is what a distribution should be. This distribution fits on a CD and it has a lot to offer here. Now, um, Magia comes in two different flavors. You can get this in GNOME or KDE. I decided to look at KDE because I like the way the KDE 4.8 is uh, working. I'm actually using some components of KDE 4.8 in uh, my arch setup that I'm running here. Now, some things of interest that I'm going to go ahead and point out here is you have the software management utility here, and this is, um, oh, the name's on the tip of my tongue, I forgot what it is already. It is RPM Drake, and this will allow you to easily find packages and install them on the system. You get the Firefox web browser pre installed with this as well as your your um, software management system where you can add and remove software, configure updates frequently, uh, update your system, that sort of thing. And then of course you get the system settings right here for managing uh, everything on your system. And I also like what they did with the menu here. Uh, I like this layout. It's very nice clean and compact, unlike uh, a lot of other KDE menus I've seen before that um, other menu they have is just ugly. Let me see if it gives me an option to choose it. Uh, it doesn't look like it does here. So I like the way they laid this out. It's pretty nice. Now obviously this is responding a little bit slow because, um, yeah, well, KDE is a little bit heavy, so you need to have a faster uh, processor uh, to use this. I wouldn't recommend this running this on really, really old hardware, but if you have one of the newer computers out with a dual core processor, this should be really good for you to work with. Good day, comrade. I am Ivan Kilmo, and the Ivan Kilmo stop smoking. Please. Perhaps you wish to quit smoking. We know it is difficult, but we have come up with revolutionary incident to help you to quit smoking. The security is simplicity. We have streamlined our process to only one very easy step. You see, we have added to new technology. We call it Russian Roulette Cigarette. You will be pleased with the results when you purchase our product. You see, we randomly put explosive cigarette in each pack. Then if you like the Russian Roulette Cigarette, you smoke no more. Cigarette will kill you slowly anyway. So this is a good deterrent, huh? What's more, this makes good gift for someone you think needs to quit smoking. So buy Russian Roulette Cigarette today. Your life may depend upon it. Before starting any stop smoking program, participants should first consult their doctor, lawyer, librarian, probation officer, mortician, and taxidermist. Side effects include breathing difficulty, laceration of the skin, nausea, third degree burns, asthma, and dizziness. Extreme cases include decapitation, asphyxiation, and death. Results are dependent on the patient's desire to stop smoking. There is absolutely no clinical proof that this program actually works. By purchasing this product, the consumer agrees to accept all terms and conditions mandated by the manufacturer and will not hold the seller liable in the event of death or injury. Okay, here are some of the applications that you get. Um, you get Blue Devil, uh, Firefox, uh, Conqueror Web Browser, uh, a networking center and then a telepathy contact list. It comes with the full LibreOffice suite. Uh, you get the GIMP, Gwenview case snapshot. Very nice that they included all of this stuff on a CD-sized disc. You get Amarok, a Dragon Player K-Mix. Uh, this uses Pulse Audio, so you'll need the Pulse Audio volume control. And, of course, the TV Time television viewer. Bar none, the best television viewer 
when connect, if you're using like a Hop Hog USB TV, wonderful, wonderful product here. Um, all the tools you need to configure your system as well, as well as uh, documentation uh, on this distribution. And of course, Magia has a nice community that you can connect to as well. So all in all, I'm liking what I see here. So there's a reason why this has a number four slot on the Linux uh, or on DistroWatch. This is a very nice looking operating system. I would highly recommend this to beginners. Mm -hmm.